story time. Okay? Story time. Positive energy, positive frequency, positive motherfucking vibes, y'all. We're going to start back calling us white like candy. All right? We're going to start back calling them. We started calling ourselves white like candy years ago, but we back at it. We back at it again. All right? Story time. Positive energy, positive frequency, positive motherfucking vibes. Much gratitude, much love to the most high. Peace and love, my kings and queens. Divine rising chosen ones, all right? So with that being said, let's finish this story time, all right? Story time, series four. All right, so with that being said, um, me and mother, we got back together, all that good stuff, okay? So about a couple weeks later, about a couple weeks later, I was still messing with the guy up the street that was um, messing with, you, you know, both was messing with the girl up the street. So I ended up messing with a dude up the street or just across, like, diagonally across the street from the same girl he was messing with. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, that was me. So me and Big, B-I-G, you know what I'm saying? He a dope boy, too. You dig know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was, yeah, I, I, was, I was one of those. I was one of those. I need dope boys in my life. You dig know what I'm saying? I need to go shoot that shit. You need So... By this time, me and Bubba, we not on, like, good, good terms, but we're, we we still cordial type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, basically, no thing to keeping us together is 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 is, is, is uh, the goody woods. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> the makeup, the makeup is the best. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm messing with Big, all right? Big gave me a cookie. We ain't gonna get into technical difficulties when we come to cookie. What's understood don't need to be explained. So he gave me a cookie for free. For free. Yeah, for free. So I take it back down to the spot. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? And then Bubba get mad. What, what you mad for? Nigga, this is both my money. Like, fuck you talking about, nigga. Your money, my money, my money, your money, my You know? That type of shit. So he got jealous or whatever, but anyway, I ain't never stopped fucking with B. Even when I moved back to Dallas, Texas this last time, I was still fucking with B. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we don't fuck around like we used to fuck around like years ago, but we're on a, a friend type of thing. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, let's go back to B. So me and Big start fucking around. Big had a store. He had uh two uh two houses. Yeah, two houses that were right beside each other on Diddley. And he had a uh, restaurant on Diddley as well. So he's doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? He was a P. You know what I'm saying? But he ain't come at me like that. You know what I'm saying? He ain't come at me like that. You know what I'm saying? But most people know me from the game or whatever. Just from the streets or whatever. Because I used to be on the block. I used to be on A Street. I used to be on uh, Diddley. I used to be on uh, Keystone, Cedar Crest. I used to be everywhere with it. Yeah, don't play no games, okay? So, with that being said, me and Big, we got closer. Because the only thing that kept me and Bug close was the bond that we had from grinding, you know what I'm saying, uh, with the with the clucks and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, selling that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? And me and Big, we bonded on a level as, he was, he was older than me too, but he wasn't that much older than me, you dig what I'm saying? So, um, we bonded on a level of, I want you to come in and I want you to teach these chicks. You know what I'm saying? I want you to teach them the game. I want you them to teach them how to get money like you get money. You know what I'm saying? Even though you walk in the straw. And, and back then, BP was still up. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and CL was still up too. You know what I'm saying? So, back then, you know what I'm saying? I was really like, peas or come at me or talk to me or gangsters or whatever that had girls. You know what I'm saying? Or just like a, 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 a Richie Rich. You know what I'm saying? A, 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 that used to have the store with the uh, with the uh, Air Force Ones and the purses on Loop Twelve, right there where the uh, 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 Long John Silvers used to be, huh? So uh, you know, guys used to always call me to you know get their chicks right. Because, you know, they don't want to put their hands on them or whatever, but I will. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all won't go to jail type shit. That's the type of cockiness I had back then. So, me and Big, we bonded on another level because he put me in, in, in a position for me to make 
thousands of dollars, you dig what I'm saying, without even having to do anything type shit. Because I just stayed in the house and I just made sure bitches, I mean females, was doing what they needed to do. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, teaching them the game as far as from a woman's perspective. Okay, because don't get me wrong, I don't have my own chicks too. We're gonna get into another story on that too. All right, so but the, what I started messing with the chicks when I got out the penitentiary the last time, but we're gonna get into that story in a minute. Okay, so uh, 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 uh me and B, we fucking around some tight, we fucking around some tight. You dig what I'm saying? Like, females are coming, like, even like these are square females that he turning into these are greens that we turning into. Into leaves, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> we was on that, let's get this money together type shit. We wasn't on no competition type shit. Me and Bub, it was always a competition. You know what I'm saying? It was always who can make more money, who can get free shit from this nigga, this female, or you know, whatever. You dig know what I'm saying? But with B, it was different. He actually loved me. He actually treated me like the queen that I was, that I am. Let me rephrase that, that I am. But he taught me how to respect myself. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, when I was with Bubba, you know, most older men, when they get younger females, they don't teach you how to be a woman. You dig what I'm saying? They don't, you know, teach you uh, that feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, I, I was always called toughy. Ah, you toughy. Ah, me always call me toughy. You know, ah, you tough. Oh, you tough. You always want to fight a nigga. Oh, you always want to fight the females. No, I'm not always like that. I'm just with standoffish. You know what I'm saying? Just the stuff that I experienced as a child. You know what I'm saying? So I was very standoffish when it came to men, women, grandmamas, whoever. It didn't even matter who the fuck it was. I was standoffish, period. You know what I'm saying? Because my mind said, if my mama didn't give a fuck about me, there nobody in the motherfucking streets give a fuck about me. That was my mindset. You dig what I'm saying? So, everybody that was coming into my life, everybody was bringing something valuable to my life. Okay? So, with that being said, me and Big both found out. Okay? <laughs> both found out I was still fucking with Big. Because it supposed to have been an agreement that, okay, you did this because I was fucking with this chick. Okay, you did this because I was fucking with this dude. So, now... Both of us gotta stop fucking with them all together. You know what I'm saying? But I did. Like, <laughs> what's good for the who's good for the Canada, nigga? <laughs> I mean, dude. So I did not. So me and Big, we got real close. So I got to the point where I was like real, <laughs> real cocky with it. I just used to leave out the house and just walk my ass up the fucking street. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it got to the point where Bubble would kind of be like, where you at? Where you at, man? You left for walking. Where you at? Where you at? So it got to the point where one day Bubble was. Got friends with the dude next door to me. All of a sudden. Now you're friends? Now, now you're homeboys? The fuck out of here, nigga. So, anyway, he uh, started talking to the dude next door. So, the dude next door started snitching on me. Dry ass snitching type shit. Dude started snitching on me, huh? So, I don't even know the dude. But he seen me every time I walked up that street because, of course, like, even with any area I go into, even my own hood, I don't even look like I fit in. I don't look like I, I belong there type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I didn't look like I fit in. So, I'm walking a big house. One day, I'm walking out of big house. Bubba's standing at the gate like this. On, on big gate. And big, he's like a 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, six type of dude. So, yeah. He didn't say nothing to to me or we didn't get into it as we was walking down the street or whatever because he knew Big had cameras. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't no shit there. But once we made it back to the house, oh baby. <laughs> we started fighting as soon. Uh, okay, now let me, let me tell you how it went. Um, I made it in the door first. You dig what I'm saying? Because I'm, 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 I'm a leader. I'm not a follower. You dig what I'm saying? So me being the way that I walk, I walk real fast. You know what I'm saying? Because I need to get down to this house before this nigga make it to the house. Because I'm throwing the first slip. So me being me, okay, yeah, I, I, I'm cocky as fuck. So me being me, I stood behind the door. The front door when you first come in the door. Yeah. Look, look bit ass sitting on the couch. Yeah. Remember a little bit? Yeah. Look bit ass sitting on the motherfucking couch. 
Oh, that's my fine. Look, look, bitch sitting on a motherfucking couch, acting like she don't know what the fuck going on. And then when Bubba walk in the motherfucker, <laughs> I jump, because of course he's a couple of inches taller than me. So I jump up and hit him and I, you think what I'm saying? And we just started fighting from there because I'm not supposed to let you keep playing with me. You think what I'm saying? I'm going to play with you because you want to mind fuck me and mind play me because I was, because I'm young and you know, at that time I was not talking to my family. I wasn't talking to nobody for like seven, eight years. It was just me, my son, and Bubba for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And the streets. You know what I'm saying? So he knew that you, he was my family. He was all that I had. But at the end of the day, baby, I can make a whole another family. I can leave you right here, whatever piece of family that you got. You dig what I'm saying? So with that being said, we fought hard on the beach. Hard. And this fight right here was different than any other fights. Because we literally were going for any place that, that whatever, wherever the fist connects the type thing. You dig what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I got bruises from my neck on down. When I say every part of my body was bruised, every part of my body was bruised. Do you understand me? But, let me tell you, he had a black eye, he had a bloody lip, and I don't do no scratching, baby. You dig what I'm saying? And his chest from his neck, cause I, cause me, I go. <laughs> so anyway, I'm not, I'm not a little chick. I'm not small. Hello, I'm not small. All right, so I'm not a little chick. You know what I'm saying? I'm not your average chick. <laughs> so we fought like cats and dogs, and of course we made up like cats and dogs. So, yeah, I didn't leave him and he didn't leave me. Because at the end of the day, people have to understand, me and Frank or Bubba, we had a bond that nobody could break. You dig what I'm saying? Because I did shit to him and he did shit to me. But at the end of the day, we showed each other that no one can come in between this shit. Like, we know that we have different urges. And as I got older, of course, I had different interests. And I started noticing who I was as a woman. And I kept on blossoming, 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 and growing. So, at this time, I'm still modeling. I'm still stripping. I'm still hitting the blocks. You dig what I'm saying? I'm still doing shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going back and forth to Robin Oaks at this time, too. You dig what I'm saying? So, I was getting my own money, and he was getting his own money because he was still in Highland Hills. You know what I'm saying? On my head. You know what I'm saying? So, we would still get money, like, any type of way. Like, it didn't even matter. We would still get money. You know what I'm saying? As long as we get money together, we was good. You think that we were good, period. So, after that, after that, I was sitting on the block on A Street. At this time, I had like two females to myself, all right? By this time, I'm sitting on the block. This is the first time I caught a case. But crazy part about it, I didn't catch the case for being on the block. I caught a case for sitting on the block with my pistola. <laughs> with the banger, baby. And they just rolled up on me and... and Ran my name and I had a warrant or two and they, they searched my purse and found the revolver. Yeah. So, uh, stay tuned for the first time I ever went to jail. Okay, stay tuned. Let me say this again. For the first time I ever went to jail on the block. Okay? So, what was this one? This, this, this is four. Okay. So stay tuned for uh, series five tomorrow in the Grand Rising. Peace and love, my kings and queens. And thank you for tuning in to Storytime, my white light candy. Okay, positive energy, positive frequency, positive motherfucking vibes. Peace and love, my kings and queens. Until we meet again.